Plus for T-Mobile. I got it from Costco. It was on sale, sort of, for $179. It's better than the T-Mobile price of $225. As you can see, 5.7 inch screen. I don't really care about the other stuff. 32 is good, okay. 64 is better, of course. 16 is a little too low, but. Yeah, so let's. Just gotta open. Guide manual, which I probably won't even read. SIM card, actual battery. Power cord, which is a micro USB. Charge block, fast charge. That's good. And here's your actual device. So, uh, you know, one of the, it's a pretty decent sized phone, compared to my Huawei, it's close to the same size, so it's pretty good, and yeah, one of the major draws of this phone, so you got your charging port, headphone jack, and here's the actual stylus that's called the stylo for no buttons or anything like the Samsung version it's just a regular stylus and it's got a little speaker hole right here and there's a little indentation for the uh, to get the back off right so under back you got it's your hole for your micro SD card and your SIM card. Battery goes in the bottom, of course. Three thousand eighty milliamp battery. It's pretty good. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the micro SD card in. This Lexar micro SD card I got off of uh, Amazon, 64 gigabit, gigabyte. And I gotta put a new SIM card in because the previous phone I had, for this my son's phone, had the LG Resto, and which was pretty good. But it was 120 when I originally bought it, and now it's 150, which makes no sense. And this one being 180, it's a much better phone for that price. And so he lost his other phone or had it stolen. I guess I say lost because he very securely laid it on the ground and put a sweatshirt on top of it to keep it safe. Obviously, that didn't fool anyone. Yeah, I'm not sure how you put this down. There's the tiniest of diagrams here that shows you how to put the SIM card in. It's a nano SIM. And the micro SD card goes on top of it. Okay, so see I slid it under there. And then you put your micro SD card on top of that. And there's a diagram as well, the notch on the right hand side. There you go, so your micro SD card and your SIM in there. Put your battery in. It's nice to have a removable battery, I guess. If they sell extras this size, I don't know for this budget phone if they do that or not.
pretty good film phone. Most plastic back, but I don't mind that. Decent size, like I said. Power button, this little guy here. Volley controls here, so let's power them up. Mobile sale. Enjoy the starting. Posted on Reddit asking about this, and a lot of people really recommend this phone. I was looking between this and uh, another LG Aristo and the LG K20, and then ZTE Z Max Pro or the T Mobile Rebel phone, which I think is just an Alcatel. This is taking a while, huh? Did not expect that to take so long. I figured we'd be off to the races here. But. There we go, 100%. Welcome screen. Alright, so that's pretty exciting. And then of course we got our stylus here. It does vibrate when you pull that stylus out. So that's pretty cool. Alright. So, uh, we'll probably get a case for it and then maybe post some more about it. Alright, so here's the LG Stylo 3 Plus on uh, T-Mobile. Uh, it's probably the same video as the unboxing. I ordered an OtterBox for this, uh, but it hasn't come in yet, so I'll, I need a case for it. So I went up to Best Buy and got this Incipio case. And I just wanted to do a follow-up on this uh, guy here. It's pretty cool. We pull this guy out. Alright, so let me change it to a more readable screen. That's pretty cool when you pull the stylus out. It goes right to this pin pop menu. Uh, so, if you want to do a little pop memo. Sit this guy and you can draw whatever you want. That's pretty neat. And what I like is that you can do a screen capture. This is Capture Plus. Let me pull it out. And I took a screenshot and I can draw on said screenshot. So I'm not sure I got that proper. Let's try again. So I'll show you. Got the stylus in, it vibrates when you pull it out. A little vibration, your menu comes right up. You can pick any of these you want. Uh, what I would normally use is Capture Plus. So I can take a screenshot. And then you can draw on it, you can crop it. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. Well, I guess you can crop it. Yeah, I love that. Is. Yeah, that's pretty neat. That little button there. Not the weather. This little guy. And you 
apartment looks like this draw. And you can erase it. Looks pretty good, obviously not as good as the uh, S Pen, but there's no buttons or anything, it's just the right list stylus. But it works pretty good, especially for a hundred and eighty dollar phone. Uh, I think there's a way to There's a way to crop this. Oh, there you go. Can't yeah, so you can crop it easily. If you sit in the corners here, press this button, go back to just the drawing. And if I want to undo everything, hit this little undo button. Alright, so here we go. Let's try again. Click this guy. I'll do myself a quick capture. Take a screenshot. You can draw on it this way. Or we get this guy. Then you can crop it. And then hit that again. And then you can go back to drawing. Looks pretty good. And I think it should let you know if the phone's, if the pin's too far away. And yeah, that's not the point. So is this guy. So, it's a real rugged polymer case. It's like 19.99 from my old uh, Best Buy. It's probably on Amazon. I'll check if there's an Amazon link. I'll post it, but I just want to get something on there quickly. It's not a very... It's just like a rubbery case. It's just it's going to be another kind of notification that was still going to be another week before I got the other one, so I wanted to have something on it. I thought it was going to be a hard shell. I didn't realize it was just a squishy one like this, but it works alright, I guess. And there's a screen protector on there I put on in the T-Mobile store. I had T-Mobile people put on. So that's good. You can still get access to your uh, pin easily right there. Oh yeah, you can even draw when the screen's off. That's pretty cool, huh? That way, if you didn't have the... That way, if you were just in the middle of something, you wanted to write something down, you didn't want to unlock it, you can just pop this guy out and then start writing. So that's pretty neat. And you can see the case has room for your charging port, your headphone jack, and your little speakers back here. Still gonna put the other box on when it comes in, but I figure this is nice to have something. And also provides protection for that camera a little bit by the indentation there. So it's not bad. Nice grip, shouldn't slip. Simple to be okay. So not bad for uh, twenty bucks. All right, just want to make a final add-on to my LG Stylo here. I got an OtterBox finally. It's the one problem with these mid-tier phones is that they. Uh, you know, it's not, if you don't get a Samsung or an iPhone, then it's kind of hard to find supplies, or, you know, not supplies, but products in general, or accessories, I guess is what I'm looking for. But, uh, so I had to get the other box made one for the LG3, LG Stylo 3 Plus, but it was, I had ordered from the OtterBox site. It wasn't on Amazon. It wasn't on. It wasn't in Best Buy. I told you before. I got this Incipio case from um, Best Buy, but they didn't have that. So you can see this one's firmer than this guy, but obviously way more flexible than this guy. So it should be a much better case. And it's only thirty bucks, 
But like I said, I had ordered from Otterbox. I didn't pay for ex express shipping, so it cost a fortune. Or not cost a fortune. It took forever to get here. Let's say it took almost two weeks to get it, which is a long time. But you can see my son's already messed up the screen protector on this one without having another box, so it's probably good that he gets this. So you can see the uh, pan works just fine. Overall, though, I say I am pretty impressed with this phone. It's had a couple updates. If you look at the uh, software info you can see it's on the October 1st security patch which for a mid-tier phone is pretty impressive pretty impressive for any phone since it's November 11th and I'm recording this on my Moto Z2 Force which is a flagship level a T-Mobile phone and it's on the June security patch and my Huawei Mate 9 which was last year's flagship, was currently on, I'm pretty sure it's on uh, April. So, this style of the cost, less than half price of either one of them, is on a newer security patch. Yeah, this case is pretty good, I like this other box case. Alright, so, you got room for the speaker, of course. You got plenty of room to plug your device here. 3.5 millimeter your power cord. Easily press your buttons here. Should recognize them pretty easy. Yeah, see, it's recognize them, no problem. And you got plenty of room for your finger press here. So, pretty good. It's a little indentation, indentation there, not much. Plenty of room for that. So, overall, looking pretty good.